Hello there, my name is Anthony Barokas, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about sliders. I have a, uh, a, what I think is an awesome slider here. If you've seen anything moving, especially with DSLR work, usually there's some sort of slow movement with something in the foreground, something in the background, and sliders are what make that uh, possible for DSLRs without having to resort to, you know, like a Chapman dolly or something like that. And these are really nice because you can set them on a table like I have here, or you could put them on a tripod and put them on an angle so you can slide down, you can slide forward, you can slide back. A lot of really good capability. But the problem that I find a lot of these things have is that if you want to execute a pan while sliding, it becomes a bit of a challenge because the the ability for one person to manage both a consistent motion across while also trying to pan is a little difficult. I did one in a, in a real estate video and I have to admit it's the worst shot in the video. And other pans or other slides that I did in the video are really nice. But the, the act of trying to do two things at once is very difficult. Also, it's not repeatable. So when you try to slide and pan and try to match certain points, it's very challenging. This is especially critical if you're doing something narrative where somebody needs to walk to a certain point and you need to move and pan with them at this certain rate. It's, it's a challenge to do that with re repeatable timing. Now, this slider has a third rail. Now, you've seen other ones that have it like set behind so it becomes this big thing. Um, this third rail is actually in the middle. And what this third rail lets me do is it lets me pan while sliding and it's all keyed together. It's all integrated into one unit so that the panning motion is perfectly repeatable. Uh, I just have a basic head on here. I'm not gonna try and tilt too. That's a whole other action. Uh, but if I take this and I adjust these knobs on the side here and I give it a little twist, you don't see anything here because the center point is still pointing forward. But as I push it to the side, the camera turns. And then when I go this way, now I can move and the camera pans. I'm not touching the camera. It's actually the bar underneath is moving, is rotating the whole center point of the mount here. And that way I can easily come back to any particular point and it's pointing exactly the same spot. And when I get to here, it's always gonna point at the same exact spot. It's completely repeatable because it is a physical connection between the slider and the head. And that is what I really like. And if you wanna focus on something in front of you, this makes it very easy. You can actually create a very um, strong pan here. So this object would be like right here, you know, very close to the slider itself, or with a less of an angle, now it's way out there, like about 10 feet or so in front of me. Now this is good if I'm tracking action and it's moving that way, but I'm moving this way, I then I'm panning as I move the slider. If, however, you wanna do in the same direction, you could do that too, just move this in the opposite angle, and now, I'm over here and I'm gonna pan as I move. I'm panning to the left as I move here. And you can also make this just as severe an action. So here I'm gonna do a big pan to the left and a big pan to the right. So that way as, some, you know, as you're moving past something in front of you, you're following other action in the distance that's moving at a much faster rate of speed like a car or a bicycle and that way you enhance the motion. And if you don't need that, it's also just a slider. And the thing I like about this one is it's lightweight. It's carbon fiber rails. These are actual um, rollers on here. It's not a slider per se. Uh, this is actually rolling with four wheels. Uh, the center part is sliding. There's no wheels on the center part. It has a center mount for a tripod. It has end mounts if you want to use two different stands on either side. It also has feet to put it on a table like I have here. And each of the feet has about uh, two inches or five centimeters of um, depth. You can angle that if you like. 
and obviously the angle point and it's got a lock in the middle here so when you're going to pick it up and move it it doesn't go anywhere and then it's also got a bubble level on the center mount itself so that you can make sure that you're level to start with and you know obviously if i want to do an angle shot i can you know i can do that and then i can slide across so these are the many things about this slider that i really like is the fact that it improves on your basic slider where you know it's everything is just straight it's just a straight shot past action if i want to move I want it to be repeatable, I want it to be consistent, and I can actually adjust that angle with granularity. There's markings on the side here, so you can go just a little bit more, just a little bit more to get that angle you want, and then do it repeatably with a nice consistent motion. So if you're gonna move slow, then the pan is slow. If you're gonna move fast, then the pan is fast. Now, also, you don't need to use the whole thing. If you want a fast pan with a slow movement, you go with a more severe angle, but then I'm only gonna use part of the slider here. And that is you know, entirely up to you. That is why I, I really like what this slider is going to bring to what I can deliver to the client. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.